Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Mania Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Super Starcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage, and special episodes from Rodin' Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lima Cleese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring. And mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV channel 77. And now here's the host of the show live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. A uh, thank you, Mr. Wonderful Announcer, sir. Welcome everyone to this. We, uh, to this uh, episodic YouTube channel vlog show presented by your friendly neighborhood, Sweet Bumbling Bofa Raver. Me and I have appeared on the following shows of the StreamYard community, expanded from our Discord community, Bumbling Bozo's Variety Program, every Saturday night at 9 on the iBar Bros Studios YouTube channel, Bofa's on the Sofas, every Monday afternoon at 5 on the Mr. Garrison 96 YouTube channel. I am one... I am one of the co-hosting panelists of the Rent and Raid podcast every Thursday night at 8 on the Brandon Martin YouTube channel. And finally, I am one of the panelists as well for the Too Sweet Wrestling podcast. Um, we try to uh, do NXT live reactions every Tuesday night at 8 and, uh, and a podcast every other Saturday night at 8 on the Elite JC TV um, YouTube channel. I'm also the five-time, five-time, five-time can you dig it sucker. Um, Bumbling Bows is supposed to be the awards nominee in 2021. Will I be a nominee in 2022? Who knows for sure. My name is Eric Lima. This is my channel vlog show. First season was known as the People's Lima slash PP, uh, TPL. And <laughs> beep, 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 beep. And uh, season two was known as EML 77 TV, which is the third season WEML TV channel 77. And this is episode 1237 of the show, uh, May the 28th, 2022, 1039 p.m. Alrighty then, Red Sox won again, Trevor Story once again, dude hit a grand slam, and I'll tell you what, AEW uh, Rampage um, is going to be a very interesting matchup to say, uh, very interesting, uh, it was a very interesting show to say the least. Trios matchup, Evil Uno and t and Dark and Ten of the Dark Order teaming up with Frego Del So as they took on the House of Black, and uh, House of Black triumphant in that matchup picked up the victory but death triangle shows up and left the tombstone it says house of black at double or nothing it seems like a, a trios match would suffice at double or nothing lex lex interviews the gun club and max caster after an um, injury happened to anthony bowens and so after being attacked but we don't know by who, unknown assailants, but but the gun club and Max Caster vowed to stick together and uh, do the thing very, very well. So this is going to be, let's see what this alliance between Max Caster and the gun club will do. Tony Schiavone interviewed FTR. They're issuing, I think they accepted the challenge of Rapongi Vice for the uh, Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship. And, uh, Sean Spears will take on a giant. We don't know who a giant is, but we found out it's none other than former NXT superstar and former uh, ICW stand standout Big Damo. Uh, Big Damo went up under the name of Killian Dane, married to uh, Nikki Ash. In real life, Big Damo took on Sean Spears, and Sean Spears did beat Big Damo. And then Sean Spears grabbed the microphone and starts running his mouth about Wardlow. Who, you know, he believes Warlow doesn't stand a chance because MJF is a special guest referee in the Steel Cage match. So, so there's that. And then the Elite cut a promo as Adam Cole will await the winner of the Kyle O'Reilly-Samoa Joe matchup. 
Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, the heart, uh, uh, the young bucks want a piece of the Hardys, so it will be something. It will, and they say a dream match that could load up the double or nothing. Rumor has it that match will happen at double or nothing. Hardys, young bucks, and then you get the women's Owen Hart quarterfinal match. As you know, um, Hikaru, um, Hikaru Shida was unable to compete due to injury, so replacing her as Chris Statlander went up against Red Velvet. And uh, and Chris Statlander did pick up the victory over Red Velvet. Kiara Hogan um, got inv- involved attacking Chris Statlander, and then Ruby Soho, who was color commentating for for the matchup, did come um, come in to help out Chris Statlander. But then when Jay Cargo got involved, Anna Jay got involved of the Dark Order, and. Uh, so could this could will this be a, led to a trios matchup? Who knows? But well, Chris Statlander will face Ruby Soho in the semifinals. So the final four: Tony Storm versus Dr. Britt Baker (DMD) and Ruby Soho versus Chris Statlander. The winners of those two will meet. Or those two matches will meet at at Double or Nothing. Like the men's, uh, also the men's got the, the the one of the finals locked up. Adam Cole will face the winner of Samoa Joe and Kyle O'Reilly at double or nothing as well. Meanwhile, uh, Tony Nese and uh, Smart Mark Sterling and uh, Hook and Danhausen were training for the buy-in matchup in that tag team matchup. We'll see how, how well they'll do inside at the buy-in for sure. It'll be a, it'll be a great matchup to say none the least. Smart Mark Sterling has been known to occasionally wrestle in the Indies, so, so it'll be something else. Well, the men of the year, Dan Lambert came out and decided to call out Sammy Guevara, who who took um took off and absconded with the uh, TNT Championship that Scorpio Sky had won. But then, uh, Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti were out there with sledgehammers, and started battering the TNT title. And Frankie Kazarian came in, and and finished off the rest. So, Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian uh, destroyed. Scorpio Sky's TNT title, but here's the thing too. I think Scorpio, I mean, Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti won a mixed tag match. Dan Lambert says not happening, so fine, we'll destroy the title. Uh, speaking of uh, Britt Baker and Tony Storm, uh, a lot of trash talking between uh, both ladies as Tony Schiavone, uh, uh, Tony Schiavone interviewed both ladies, and with Britt Baker saying she was going to win the whole thing and walk away, so. So we'll see what happens in in that situation as well. Uh, Mark Henry uh, interviewed the BCC, the Brit, uh, Blackpool Combat Club's uh, uh, John Moxley and Brian Danielson against Dante Martin and Matt Seidel. I look at Dante Martin and Matt Seidel. They kind of remind me of the uh, Kofi Kingston uh, Seidel, um, aka Evan Bourne, team up when, when Seidel teamed up with Kofi Kingston as Evan Bourne. Air boom! I think uh, you know. I look at uh, the team of Dante Martin and Matt Seidel, sort of similar. So I think once once his brother Darius comes back, I think you're going to see the top flight be a trio's team. Um, Tony Schiavone interviewed the baddie section, which uh, uh, Jay Cargill basically told uh, Tony to cut the shit. Took off, and then Jay Cargill issued a challenge to Ana Jay. She says she'll defend her title against Ana Jay at double or nothing. That match is happening. So, uh, There'll be something else. Well, the Blackpool Combat Club versus Dante Martin and Matt Seidel. And uh, it was a great fight. But um, Black, Blackpool Combat Club, forgive me, my hair's driving me crazy. Um, Blackpool Combat Club of John Moxley and Brian Danielson, former WWE um, Grand Slam champions. Uh, Moxley is a former AEW World Heavyweight champion. So Mont, uh, Martin and Seidel were at a disadvantage about the accolades. Uh, William Regal joined on commentary, and then BCC did pick up the victory. But then Jericho and Jake Hager were also were, were there. Uh, decided to attack um, the BCC after the matchup. Jericho appreciated society attack, and then uh, both teams brawl. And, and uh, Brian Danslin ended up having his foot stuck. And we'll, we'll see if there's any injuries or anything else to report, and that would put. Um, the team in an anarchy in the arena matchup. That's what they're calling it. 
um, at Double or Nothing. So Anarchy in the arena match means anything goes in this in this match, basically. So we'll see what happens there. So that's all the time we have on this show. Uh, episode 1,237 complete. AEW Rampage for tonight, uh, March, you know, March, May the 20th, 2022. As you know, it, it happened at 7 o'clock instead of the usual 10 o'clock because of the uh, NBA playoffs going right now. Game 2 um, of the uh, East Western Conference Finals between the Devils Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors. Peace throughout your lives. Love throughout your lives. And blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ from Him above. Through to me and through, and through to me to you and from me to you. Okay, you guys have a wonderful night. Be blessed and check out episode on uh, the next episode. I'm gonna talk about SmackDown and Level Up of NXT. See ya. Have a good night.